What's going on, Clan fam? Back at it again with some more NBA 2K23. My NBA eras were here. Game 7 of the 1999 NBA Finals. Shaq and Kobe taking on the team of the 90s, the Chicago Bulls, Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen, and the GOAT Michael Jordan. Will Kobe and Shaq knock off the greatest dynasty in NBA history? Will the Bulls win their seventh title in nine years and their fourth straight? We're going to jump in right here. It is 96 all, three minutes and 50 seconds to go. What's going to happen? Bulls with the ball, 96-96 here in the Great Western Forum. The last game that's going to be played in the Great Western Forum. Jordan puts it up with the left hand. What in the world was that? Rebound goes to Shaq. Kobe bringing the ball up the floor. Gives it over to Eddie Jones. Kobe's got Steve Kerr. That's too easy. What are the Bulls doing out here? Luke Longley, six points. Shaq, 25. Kukoc can't pick the ball up to pass it in. Steve Kerr bringing the ball up the floor. Gives it to Scotty at the free throw line. Scotty off to Jordan. Kobe picking Jordan up here. Jordan takes, oh, he gets absolutely denied by Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq runs into the Bulls bench on purpose. Three minutes and nine seconds to go here. Dennis Rodman coming in. Steve Kerr and Scottie Pippen both sitting. Not sure why Scottie Pippen is sitting. Not a very smart move there by Phil Jackson. Bulls got to get a shot off. Gives it down into Kukoc. Kukoc puts it off the glass. And we got a tie game once again. Just under three minutes to go. Fisher bringing the ball up the floor. And the Lakers take a timeout. They're going to try and draw something up here. Rick Fox going to pass the ball in here. He told him, hey guys, this is a close game, but if we execute right here, I like our chance. Gives it to J.R. Reed. Fisher once again with the ball, dribbling. J.R. Reed trying to back down Rodman. Rodman just stands there. Not sure why Kobe's not in the game here. Nice little curl screen right there. Shaq with the board. He gets fouled. He's going to the free throw line. Luke Longley with the foul. And the crowd here at the Great Western Forum chanting MVP to Shaq. If the Lakers do end up winning the championship, he definitely will be the MVP. That dude has been putting up numbers this entire series. Steps up to the line in his 2K generics. Takes three dribbles. Clanks it. Not a surprise. And the Lakers take a timeout. They're icing their own player. What are they doing? Shaq hits the free throw. Lakers up 99-98. Still no sign of Scottie Pippen as the Bulls take a timeout. Way too many timeouts being called here, folks. Come on. We want to see what happens here. Enough with the timeouts. Longley throwing the ball in. Still no Scottie Pippen on the floor. Throws it into Ron Harper. Harper to Rodman. Rodman to Longley. Longley to Jordan. Jordan's got Eddie Jones on him. Over to Kukoc. Kukoc to the rim. Gets fouled by J.R. Reed. Oh, J.R. Reed fouls out on that play. Who coach is going to step to the line. Biggest free throws of his career here. Scottie Pippen still sitting on the bench. Same as Kobe Bryant. Who coach bricks the free throw. Steps to the line. And he bricks another one. Rodman with the rebound. The Bulls get lucky there. Jordan out on the wing. Oh, what a move. Fade away. Oh, classic Michael Jordan right there. 
Puts the Bulls up 100 to 99. Looks like Scotty and Kobe Bryant are coming back in the game. So things are about to get interesting. Two minutes to go. Less than two minutes to go. Fisher takes it to. Yeah, I mean, I saw that one coming from a mile away. Luke Longley couldn't guard a stick. Me, as Bulls management, I'm not bringing Luke Longley back. I don't care if he offered to play for free. I'm not bringing Luke Longley back. He could not guard anybody in this league. He is such a huge defensive liability for this team. Michael with the ball, guarded by Kobe. Rodman with the screen. Jordan's going to pull up, and he gets it to go again. Clutch shot after clutch shot from Michael Jordan. That's just what he does. Bulls up by one once again. Derek Fisher over to Rick Fox. Fox is wide open, and he cans a three. Oh, my. Huge shot there by Rick Fox. Jordan brings it up. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Rims in and out. Oh, man. The Bulls have no answer for Shaquille O'Neal. Steve Kerr's over there smiling. No answer for Shaq. Jordan, ISO and again. Oh, man. Jordan's got 26. He's using every bit of his repertoire here. They need to double team Shaq because I'm telling you right now, he's about to put Luke in a blender, and he does. The Bulls will have to invest in a center if they want to compete with this Lakers team. Harper out on the wing. Not sure what Jordan was doing there. It's like, oh, here we go. Jordan again. What's he going to do this time? Oh, well, he, oh, my goodness. I didn't think he was going to put it up. I thought he was going to get three in the lane there. Oh, terrible pass. What was that? Oh, my goodness. Jordan up top gets a screen from Rodman. He goes to the rim. Oh, he missed it. Point blank, and he missed it. Rick Fox stepping to the line. Oh, ho, ho, ho. In and out like a fast food restaurant. Second free throw. He gets it to go. Bulls need a three-pointer here. Or they could go to the rim and try and get a quick two, but they don't have a lot of time to waste. Only 12 seconds to go in this Game 7 of the NBA Finals. Who's going to be your 1999 NBA champion? Here we go. Rodman. Inbound in the basketball. Are they going to give it to Jordan? They're going to give it to Harper in the corner. I hope they realize they need a three here. I'm not sure what they're doing. Harper goes up, misses it. Bryant with the rebound. And that's going to be it. The dynasty ends here in Los Angeles. And the Lakers are going to win their first NBA championship since 1988, Michael Jordan and the Bulls are finally going to lose. A team that had been 6-0 and in the NBA Finals are about to be 6-1. and Michael Jordan is going to have a blemish on his NBA Finals record. As Kobe Bryant nails both of his free throws. Inbounds the ball to Jordan. Jordan just throws it up.
All the travel, all the practices, all the meetings, all the games, wins and losses, the emotion, the exhaustion culminating into tonight. And whenever you win the NBA championship, there is a level of accomplishment and excitement that really can't be matched. Pretty amazing to have accomplished this goal. The celebration is here, and this place is going crazy. The bench loves it. The fans obviously overjoyed. This is one of those moments these players will never forget. Now, let's take you to the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. NBA Commissioner doing the honors. And this team right here is the future of the NBA. As long as they stay together, they might win six titles of their own. I mean, the Bulls had no answer for Shaquille O'Neal this whole entire series. I can't wait to see what his stats were for this finals. Dude had 32 points, 14 rebounds. MJ had 28, 4, and 5. Luke Longley, 6 points, 9 boards. Can't be having that when the other center is scoring 32 points. Kobe Bryant, 17 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists. The Los Angeles Lakers have won the championship. Shaq, 31 points a game, 16 boards, almost 4 blocks. Dude was a beast. Now the question is, what do the Bulls do? Where do we go from here? No more Luke Longley. He can go kiss a brick. I feel like we got to bring back Scotty. We got to we got to try one more time. You fucker.